friends i know you all are so excited yes because i've been seeing your comments here on youtube some of you follow me on instagram and dm me be like bella we miss the story times <laughs> and that's why i am here today we are going to be having a story time of a kenyan lady by the name of jennifer a single mother of one who thought god had brought the right guy into her life yeah because jennifer joined online dating sites and apps eventually found an amazing guy a guy that shared same same belief as jennifer because jennifer is a very good christian and this german guy showed jennifer that he's also a good christian so it was a plus to jennifer they started dating eventually everything went super super good when i tell you good really good but then after them dating for quite some time the worst happened to an extent jennifer contacted me and that day was crying so much unstoppable so i tried to console her you know that don't worry things happen and all that you know guiding her through but still this lady was crying a lot something told me there is more to that but i wanted to give her time so that later i get to understand better and i was right guys so we're going to be finding out all that what happened you know because <laughs> i've been telling you guys when you are on the dating sites please follow online dating rules don't go on social media you come across a story and you're like ah if that lady her story went like that even mine will go like that for example there is one baby of mine who was telling me bella i don't think there is a need of even seeing a guy on a video call because i watched this famous couple on youtube <laughs> yeah they never saw each other on a video call and everything is good oh my god the lady has found a very good good guy she is enjoying her life like eating life <laughs> so video call no need i told her no girl that's her story work on your story follow all online dating rules so from this love story of today we will also get to learn that it's important to follow all online dating rules without leaving any behind <laughs> yeah so without wasting much of your time guys let us jump into this love story because i really don't know if i should call it beautiful or sad story yeah i really don't know but at the end of the video you will be the one to comment below if it was a beautiful story or a sad story for now let's get started so dear friends jennifer's love story will begin with a bit of her life background and a bit of her past love relationship experience this will help us to understand better this love story understand better jennifer where she came from before joining online dating apps and why even she decided to join online dating apps and sites so guys jennifer tells us was born and raised in kenya with both her parents comes from a family of three siblings and she is the second born so jennifer started her primary school after primary school went to secondary school tells us in her high school went to an army school and tells us when she was doing her last year in form four had her first breakup because had this kenyan boyfriend they were dating but not sharing the goodies <laughs> attention guys just dating you know when you're young and <laughs> you start dating it's not that you immediately go into the goodies yeah those days but these days oh goodness <laughs> it's like if you call someone your boyfriend then you must be sharing the goodies <laughs> yeah but jennifer here says there were no goodies shared so jennifer tells us this boy broke her heart in her phone for 
<laughs> yeah, so did her exams and thanks God, she performed very, very well, got a B plus. But the problem came whereby what Jennifer wanted to study was totally different from what her parents wanted her to study. And from there, guys, Jennifer became a school dropout, couldn't continue with her father's studies, like to go to the university, sadly. So, dear friends, Jennifer tells us that same same year, 2015, November, met this cute Kenyan guy, and this guy had had a heartbreak, too. <laughs> so, wanted someone to talk to, and that's how they became friends. Remember, Jennifer, too, had had a heartbreak, but remember, had also problems, you know, with her parents about, you know, their university. So, they both wanted someone to talk to, and that's why they connected. They really got along. So, they kept on being friends till March 2016. That's when that Kenyan guy asked Jennifer to be his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, she accepted and they started dating. Everything was really good between them. They were super, super in love with each other. So they dated that whole 2016. And in 2017, Jennifer found out that was pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> She tested and yeah, saw that, oh my God, I am pregnant. Was really, really worried. But the first person she decided to talk to was the boyfriend. Yeah, the guy who was responsible. <laughs> so after talking to the boyfriend, the boyfriend was happy and told her, do not worry. I support you. Nothing will happen. I will be with you. So you have to keep the baby. She was happy, but never wanted to tell her mom. Luckily, the dad used to work in South Africa, so most of the times the dad wasn't there. She could just be with her mom and her siblings. So, Jennifer started having those signs of a pregnant woman, <laughs> like sleeping a lot. <laughs> and the mother started suspecting, asked Jennifer, why are you sleeping a lot? <laughs> like a pregnant woman, are you pregnant? And she was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> but deep in her heart knew that, yes, I am pregnant, but never wanted to break the news to the mom. Didn't want to disappoint her mom. So things kept on going like that, but the signs kept on like coming a lot when you're pregnant. <laughs> Like now they are vomiting, sleeping a lot and all that. So her mom really got worried and decided to call the family doctor so that they can take some tests on Jennifer to see if she is pregnant. Jennifer got to know about that and the family doctor said she was supposed to give her urine. <laughs> what she did, decided to communicate with her boyfriend and the boyfriend brought early in the morning. <laughs> his urine to her so that's the urine that they gave out they went and tested and when the results came out it was negative and the mother was really confused like you are showing all the signs of a pregnant woman but why is that the urine tests <laughs> are saying negative you aren't pregnant <laughs> jennifer kept on lying to her mom that she is not pregnant <laughs> again the mom decided to talk to the family doctor and the family doctor suggested they should go to a certain hospital and take some more tests on jennifer to really confirm if she is pregnant or not so when the mother told jennifer about it taking her to another hospital jennifer was like no siendi mahali popote i'm not going to do that tests the tests came out i did them already and i am not pregnant <laughs> so in the end the mother gave up on her but time kept on going and eventually <laughs> it wasn't a secret anymore <laughs> The mother came to find out that Jennifer was pregnant. When she found out, was super, super disappointed. Oh my God. Jennifer tells us could read the whole disappointment on her mother's 
face after finding out that she was pregnant so had to tell jennifer you are going to abort but jennifer told the mom no i am not going to abort and that's when her mother had to kick her out of her house oh my god so when she got kicked out had to call the boyfriend and the boyfriend came to take her so they had to run away together sadly so after running away together they went to stay at the boyfriend's friend's house in Kisumu. <laughs> yeah, they stayed there. All was good, though Jennifer was really sad that her mother had to kick her out of the house. Yeah, so they stayed there and after a few months, the boyfriend got a call from Mr. He is supposed to go to Nairobi and study German language because had a sister who was in Germany and wanted him to go to Germany. So talk to Jennifer. Jennifer was like, you know, this is all about our future. I think you should go. Don't worry about me. So the guy had to go. They separated and left her at his friend's house. But Jennifer says, you know, that was his friend. I couldn't just keep on staying with his friends. I was supposed to look for a way out. And she had heard her grandma was looking for her desperately. That is when she decided to take the opportunity to call the grandma and tell her, Grandma, I have nowhere to go. I am in Kisumu. And the grandma told her, come home that's when jennifer picked all her things and went to stay with her grandma so at her grandma's place tells us the grandma was so good to her welcomed her with open arms and never made her feel bad or feel embarrassed to have a baby before marriage could take her to charge you know all was super super good but you know sometimes when you are pregnant you can find yourself in a complicated situation health wise so she started having some complications got a very severe uti was super super sick the grandma had to call her mom and was like you have to come and check on your daughter i told you she is here with me so that you can come last time but you did not come so i'm telling you for the last time that your daughter is very very sick you have to come and that's when jennifer's mother had to go to the grandma's place took her to the hospital she got cured that uti and then returned at her grandma's place months kept on going and time you know to deliver her baby came was taken to the hospital and luckily yay got her beautiful baby girl so after having that baby had to return to her grandma's place stayed there for three months and during that time tells us the grandma could take a very good care of her also kept talking to the father of her child yeah he was there guys never abandoned her <laughs> yeah so after those three months decided to go back to her mom's place her mom welcomed her back to the house so dear friends at her mom's place her daughter kept on growing and when she grew up a little bit jennifer started looking for side hustles here and there eventually found one started doing it so that she can take a good care of her daughter they kept on the relationship with the father of her daughter but tells us sometimes he started cheating on her she got to know talk to him and he asked for forgiveness they kept on dating until one day got a call from her boyfriend's sister telling her to go to their house when she arrived there the sister to the boyfriend told her you know what your boyfriend has been really really sick at first we thought it was malaria we treated that malaria but it is still repeating he is coughing a lot fever and everything so today i want you to accompany him to the hospital so that he can do these tests so gave her a list of tests and i think that list was from the family doctor and yeah jennifer took the boyfriend they didn't go to the hospital but they went to these places like a laboratory 
where you do the tests yeah i still remember even in tanzania sometimes when i could feel like i have malaria i don't know i'm feeling like this i could go to the laboratory and just test you know, test me malaria. So they take blood tests, they test malaria like that. So yeah, they went to that laboratory. And when they arrived there, it's the boyfriend that was telling that lab technician, like, test me this, test me this, test me this. But among all the tests, he skipped the one of HIV AIDS. Yeah. So she was like, why did he skip it <laughs> and reminded him so after being reminded I had to tell the lab technician that you know what test me this too so the lab technician was like do you want me to test you alone or even her because you know they are a couple <laughs> eventually they said both but that lab technician <laughs> told them we only have one kit remaining so obviously they had to test the one who is feeling sick fast <laughs> yeah so when they took the test for that within a short period of time he told them that it's negative and they went to sit you know like outside waiting for other results <laughs> yeah so as they were waiting there not worried nothing that guy comes back again the lab technician and he's like can you come inside they entered inside and was like i'm sorry you know when i took that test i was in a hurry <laughs> incompetent people <laughs> i was in a hurry so i didn't read well you know the results but checking well now when i'm settled you are hiv positive oh my goodness jennifer tells us was very very shocked she was trembling even her hair on her body you know she got goosebumps you know when you're scared when uh, you don't know even what to do due to what you are hearing and was telling me bella remember a week ago we had enjoyed the goodies so i was really worried and i'm like oh my god what's this but the lab technician told them you know sometimes these kids can have errors so i advise you guys to go to this hospital there is a vct there and you know you both test and see the results the boyfriend was crying they had to go to that hospital they went to that vct and did the tests so after doing the test they were outside waiting you know tells us at that time lots of things were going through her mind yeah lots lots of even the doctor called them and was you know talking to them asking her like jennifer if the results comes out and we find out you are HIV positive, what are you going to do? She was like, no, I'm just going to accept it and I'll be taking the pills, you know, the medicines, no problem. But tells us deep inside was dying, thinking what will happen to my daughter? Oh my God, will I be able to take the medicines every day? Like, ah, it was a lot for her and another thing is the boyfriend was like if they find me hiv positive you must be hiv positive too and she was like why are you saying that i've been very very faithful to you and says she's not a lady that runs around with guys or maybe dates different guys at the same time is not such kind of a lady when dates a guy it's only that guy focuses only on him so even with that guy it was only him wasn't sleeping with any other guy so when the boyfriend was telling her those words she really got hurt was like you shouldn't be telling me that i've been faithful to you jennifer kept on praying to god that god please help me out you are the only one that can take me out of this situation and eventually they were called in when they were called in the first results to be read was of jennifer ah tells us her heart was beating <laughs> very very fast yeah eventually the doctor told her jennifer you are hiv negative oh my god she was very very happy thanked god was like bella 
it was only God. Yeah. But when they got to read the results of the boyfriend, the boyfriend was still HIV positive. So the boyfriend cried, you know, she consoled him, was like, I'll be here for you. I'll take care of you. I'm not going to abandon you at all. So he was given instructions of what he needs to do and, you know, the medicines to take, all of that. So they returned home and Jennifer tells us every single day could call him to ask him if he took his medicines, was there for him never abandoned him and said i did not want to abandon him because i loved him very very much so yeah they keep on dating the boyfriend gets back on his feet and all that <laughs> then returns to his behavior you know she starts hearing he's been you know sleeping with different women that's when she was like you know what this is the end of me and you i can't keep on giving you chances i gave you so many chances but still you keep betraying me so i am going to go on with my life and go on with your life that is when they broke up jennifer kept on you know with her life taking care of her daughter doing business and going to church as always <laughs> yeah so dear friends because jennifer was really lonely after breaking up with her boyfriend tells us that when Eva could be free if she's not doing her side hustle, used to go to YouTube to watch videos, you know, to learn some new things. And that's when she came across my YouTube channel in 2022. So the first video to watch on my channel even sent me the photo of that video. It was about a Kenyan lady who found true love on F dating with a guy from Germany. And that guy took that lady and her family out of the slums. Yeah. So when Jennifer watched that, was like, wow. So you can find a real, real man, a man who can love you that much on the dating site. Got really interested about these dating apps and sites, kept on watching the success stories on my channel, and eventually decided to also join online dating apps and sites to give it a try. So she joined F Dating, Afro Introductions, Tinder, Badu. Yeah, started searching for love chatting with men from different countries. So yes, Jennifer kept on chatting with guys, met players, guys that could ask her nude pictures. She faced it all. Even one time tells us, met a guy from Norway. The guy was really, really cute, seemed serious. They started dating. And in the course of them dating, sometimes this guy could send Jennifer some money, 50 euros, 100 euros, you know, like that. <laughs> and guys, this one will tell you that if a guy sends you money, it doesn't mean he is serious. I've talked about this and I'm talking about it again because I have been seeing some of you believing in a guy just because he sent you money. No, that's not enough. For you to know if that guy is serious with you or not needs all other things, not only him sending you money. So let's continue. The guy could send her money, but whenever Jennifer wanted to talk to this guy on a video call, the guy could be like, no, Jennifer, I can't make a video call with you because I live with my friends and I'm also shy. <laughs> So she believed the guy, kept on talking, but sometimes whenever he could call her and maybe they are talking, he's out of the house. If someone comes, the guy could end the call right away and never to call back that day. And during the weekends, this guy could disappear on her. So he kept on doing like that and eventually disappeared completely on jennifer and i told you guys if you're dating a guy online weekends he's not available disappears on you and maybe during the holidays like christmas easter holidays <laughs> you can't talk to this guy you don't hear from this guy he is hiding something from you so you see eventually the guy disappeared so after this norwegian guy disappearing came in an american guy tells us met him in military cupid so this american guy was really strange 
first of all wanted five wives and was in 250 /50 kind of a relationship plus or lastly <laughs> wanted jennifer to remain in kenya was like i am not going to bring you here in america but somehow jennifer decided to give it a try and start chatting with him so they chatted and eventually asked her to be his girlfriend she accepted he also asked jennifer if she had a passport i don't know why because he said he wasn't going to invite her but jennifer told him no i don't have a passport and eventually sent her money to get her passport she got her passport and he was happy <laughs> but then started showing her pepe because <laughs> this guy was not that communicative it seemed like jennifer was chasing the guy so could listen to my videos and be like wait a minute i think i'm doing it the wrong way i need to stop chasing this guy he should be the one to look for me so whenever she could keep quiet the guy could keep quiet too even for five days and whenever he could come back could be like oh jennifer i was at work very busy left my phone at home imagine <laughs> leaving the phone at home for five days <laughs> yeah so jennifer kept on giving him the chance but things did not change eventually gave up on him was like no i think this does not work so kept on being online and tells us in 2023 had lost one of her uncle and was in the village at her grandma's place so at night could log in to the dating sites and that day told herself you know what jennifer this online dating thing i think it is a scam it doesn't work at all so i'm just going to give it one more day and delete it yeah so she slept and waking up in the morning guess what so guys this message was from a german guy and the message was like greetings from so immediately before even responding to him had to go to his profile to read it and when she clicked on his profile he had no photos but he had the description so she was like maybe the dating site has not yet approved his pictures but even his description didn't write that much so was there talking to herself that you know bella has been advising us if a guy is serious needs to write something on his profile you know needs to put more effort <laughs> i don't know should i respond or i should just ignore him but eventually i was like anyways let me respond to him so responded and was like greetings received and greetings from kenya <laughs> so jennifer tells us they chatted that day almost the whole night to an extent louis the german guy told her you know what tomorrow i'm going hiking with my daughter i need to sleep but i'll check on you tomorrow she was like fine no problem so guys jennifer slept and when she woke up in the morning found his message <laughs> so louis was asking her what kind of a man are you looking for and jennifer responded was like i am looking for a man who is a christian and we share the same belief when louis got that message responded back was like wow I would like to get to know you more the fact you mentioned this and from there they exchanged whatsapp numbers so they kept on chatting and after two days of them chatting louis told her that i have deleted my account on that dating site never told her to delete hers but tells us could go to check if he is online he wasn't there eventually decided to to delete that dating site account and focus only on him because was telling me bella i am not a lady who multitask men like dating different men so i decided i'm going to focus only on getting to know him and yeah things kept on going good so guys the following day louis tells her that I want to talk to you on a video call so that i get to see you and she was like fine no problem so they had to set the time and he was supposed to call her 
at 12 midday Kenyan time. And here was Lake Bella. I didn't know these people are so strict with time. They are always on time. So for her that day, had lots of house chores at her grandma's place and there was a network problem. So she kept on, you know, doing her house chores. When she finished, it was at one. Oh my God. Found the missed calls because he called exactly on time at 12 a.m. So what she did, decided to call him, but it was at one. And when she called him, he picked. So they talked, not so much because he was really nervous to an extent he saw it that she was so nervous. <laughs> so after that, they ended the call. Tells us they could chat a lot. They could write to each other so, so much. Gave us an example. Could start chatting from 9 p.m. at night. Whereby they have finished eating and everyone has gone to bed. So she could go out of her grandma's place because there was network there. <laughs> so she could sit outside till 2 a.m you know chatting with him oh my god love can make you do crazy things <laughs> yeah but luckily it tells us at her grandma place they had a watchdog and not only that it was a safe place so wasn't scared like be out at night so guys the first week of them talking to each other getting to know each other he asked her but i know that in kenya it is very difficult you know to get money so where do you get the money to buy the bundles for air time then told him that i do a side hustle and that's where i get the money for the bundle so he was like don't worry i'm going to send you the money for the air time so that you can buy the bundles <laughs> yeah so sent her 28,000 kenyan shillings that first week and told her whenever you need money or anything feel free to let me know the guy was really really generous guys yeah and you get to know that as we continue with the story so they kept on getting to know each other and he knew that jennifer was a mother you know a single mom was very very okay with it then jennifer had to ask him on his side about his past relationship and these are his words jennifer tells us we separated with my ex-wife currently on a divorce process but we found the common way of dealing with a divorce in terms of taking care of our kids so here jennifer asks him what do you mean by you separated he was like we live under the same roof i live upstairs with my younger daughter and my ex-wife lives downstairs with my elder daughter so jennifer responds to him it's okay because wanted to be understanding also assured her that they are going to finalize the divorce next year which was this year guys october <laughs> yeah so was just at peace and very very okay also told her don't worry it shouldn't bother you at all this is just you know short term <laughs> so guys the relationship continues between them and things were really moving super smoothly so jennifer here says i remember even <laughs> asking him when are you coming to visit me she was really in a hurry couldn't wait to meet him in person because had already <laughs> fallen in love with him because they could do everything together even pray together guys the guy was super super prayerful yeah <laughs> so after telling him when are you coming to visit me he was like give me some time don't worry very soon i will come but give me a little bit more time so at the same time chatting with the german guy the american guy the black american guy that jennifer met on military cupid 
came back to her and was like hi jennifer you know i got my ticket to come to kenya i would like to come and see you <laughs> she was like you know what you disappeared on me you ghosted me <laughs> you did everything that you did to break my heart and now you are back telling me that you're coming to kenya no it's over between us so I had to end it with that black american guy and kept on concentrating with the german guy louis so yeah jennifer kept on enjoying her love life you know with louis though in a long distance <laughs> relationship <laughs> but they really clicked so one day tells us was cleaning her grandma's house and then later went to whatsapp found a message from louis and there was a photo <laughs> of the air ticket louis telling her i have booked already a flight to kenya it will be on 16th of october these people met on that dating site on 10th of august so they chatted august september and october this guy has booked a ticket already to go meet her couldn't believe it <laughs> guess what guys she sent that photo to me telling me oh my god bella i can't believe it <laughs> and i was really really happy for her but unfortunately it wasn't my baby i mean my client so i didn't have much information about her relationship yes i knew she had this human guy that is going to visit her in kenya to make things clear because last time someone wrote to me on instagram was like bella was condi your baby and i'm like no girl <laughs> she wasn't my baby because if condi was my baby what happened couldn't have happened i can assure you guys <laughs> yeah because once i'm guiding you we're gonna find out if that guy is serious or he's just playing games or if he's really serious what to do to keep that guy or to keep that relationship so yeah back to jennifer's love story <laughs> yeah so we are happy the guy is going to kenya and all that here jennifer says is a family person so is very close to her grandma her mother and her siblings especially her younger sister yeah so had to share the news to the grandma about him oh my god the grandma was so happy <laughs> you know because <laughs> jennifer is like i was the first person in my family to date a white person so <laughs> the grandma was over the moon and yes after some time the grandma had to talk to louis <laughs> But of course, Jennifer could translate because the grandma knows only vernacular <laughs> language. <laughs> but it was really, really good. So she shares the news to the grandma. And when she returned to her mom's place, shares the news to her mom and her little sister. They were really, really happy about it <laughs> and excited. Also, Louis said, when he comes to Kenya, would like to meet her family. And that's when Jennifer had to tell the mom so that the mom can talk to her strict uncle because <laughs> didn't know how to approach her uncle. And yeah, the mom accepted, talked to her uncle and was like, Jennifer has this friend, he's from Germany and would like to meet us. The uncle was like, it's fine. When he comes, just let me know. All was good. Our girl was there in heaven dancing with angels <laughs> for happiness. So guys, yeah, they keep chatting and she keeps on waiting for the day he will be landing in Kenya. So during that time, remember guys, she has introduced this guy to everyone that is important in her life. Her grandma, her mother and her sibling her younger sister but on his side he has never introduced her to anyone but kept on telling herself let me give him more time i don't want to pressure him <laughs> and these things should just come spontaneously <laughs> naturally without forcing or asking so yeah 
<laughs> as long as everything is good, the guy is coming to see me, I have nothing to worry about. So one day, Louis writes to her and tells her, you know what, today I was in the car with my younger daughter and I shared your photos with her. She got super angry at me and was even reminding me of my ex who was from Morocco, but later on we couldn't go further because she was a Muslim, so I had to end it. So my daughter told me, I know you're going to break her heart just like the way you broke the heart of that girl from Morocco. So didn't like the whole idea of the dad dating Jennifer. And the guy told Jennifer, surprisingly, but you know what, guys? When we are in love, we tend to ignore lots of things. But what I'm telling you guys, if I was in your shoes right now, you who is on the dating site searching, you who has a guy already, you are chatting, maybe you're planning to meet in real life, I could make sure I observe each and everything. Cause you ignore one thing, your life can be ruined forever, I'm telling you. And you will know all this by the end of the video, yeah. So it was so clear to Jennifer that the younger daughter didn't approve of their relationship so guys jennifer tells us did not find any red flag in that conversation because watched one of my videos where i was talking if you are to date a guy who has got kids you don't need to force yourself to them give them time to get to know you and then after gaining confidence or trust in you they will start you know loving you they will start showing you affection they will start being close to you so she was like let me give her time <laughs> and another thing is it's not that the dad introduced morocco to her he was about to introduce her to his daughter but then broke up but the daughter knew existed and also knew they ended the relationship. Yeah. yeah, so the day starts approaching for this guy to come to Kenya and at her grandma's place, they start preparing, you know, for his visit. Remembers the grandma asking her, please ask your boyfriend, like what kind of things he likes, like food. And even her mom gave her money, go do some shopping and take the things to her grandma's place. You know how we Africans are so welcoming, especially if you have visitors. <laughs> so all was prepared very, very well. And then Louis writes to Jennifer that he has booked a ticket for her to go to Nairobi <laughs> to pick him at the airport. So Jennifer is like, Bella, I was so, so happy because first of all, I've never boarded a plane to anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so it was my first time and you guys that have been following me here for so long I updated you on this too <laughs> Sharing with you her excitement of her boarding into a plane for the first time Yeah, he paid everything <laughs> Oh my god, Louis was really really generous Sometimes whenever the daughter could want something and she could share with him He could make sure he sends the money <laughs> <laughs> to buy that thing so yeah the day arrives for her to go to the airport oh my god her mom prays for her and then goes to the airport so he was like bella when i was entering the airport oh my god i was so proud of myself yani nilikuwa na nyisikia bella me jennifer taking a flight moreover kenya airways which is the most expensive in kenya oh my god i was super super happy so she boards and arrives in nairobi and arrived earlier than him five hours earlier so us arrived at 1 p.m but he was arriving at 12 am so he was like instead of you being out you know it is very cold to wait for me at the airport why can't you go to the airbnb that we have booked and wait for me there she was like no i'm going to wait for you at the airport <laughs> and told us was at jomo kenyatta international airport when was very very little when her dad was traveling 
to South Africa. So she didn't know her way around that much, but was like, better stay here because I don't have exposure of how these Airbnbs are <laughs> and everything, how it's done. So no, I'll wait for you, man. <laughs> so yeah, chose to wait in the cold for him. So guys, as she was waiting, eventually he landed. And when he landed, she started seeing Muzungus coming out, <laughs> but didn't see him. Then sent her a message, was like, I'm here at the passport control. It is kind crowded, so it might take me a bit longer. She was like, it's okay, I will wait for you. So eventually he came out and she saw him first, <laughs> but he didn't see her. So as he was trying to look around, <laughs> she decided to wave for him. So when she waved, he saw her, oh my God, <laughs> ran to him, hugged him. They kissed so, so much. They were so happy to meet each other and... <laughs> <laughs> she tells you it was all new, like the whole new experience. So they call for Uber, enters in the Uber, tells us in the Uber they kissed. They kissed, kissed and kissed, touched each other. Oh my God, she could touch his hair. It was so soft, his skin. And she started telling herself, oh my God, with my hair and my skin, my skin looks rough. Maybe he will, you know, leave me because of that. <laughs> But tells us, oh, the experience was really good. And he kept on looking at her, kissing her all the time, touching her. <laughs> yeah, eventually they arrived at the Airbnb. So when they arrived at the Airbnb, oh my God, they kissed again, you know, touched each other. <laughs> and she was like, Bella, touching a muzungu skin, his hair for the first time. <laughs> It was really good and even Louis has never dated a black woman. So to him too, it was a new experience, but he was so happy and really seemed very, very attracted to Jennifer. Yeah, because could keep an eye contact. Though Jennifer says is a shy lady, so <laughs> could not maintain the eye contact, but Louis, yes. <laughs> yeah, so he brought lots and lots of gifts for her, lots of chocolates, nice shoes, nice clothes. Then, you know, moved around that Airbnb. It was a very beautiful Airbnb, neatly arranged. He had never been to an Airbnb, but really loved it. It was in Kleleshwa. You Kenyans, you will know this place. So guys, I'll be attaching some of their photos here, <laughs> but covering their faces. I have my reasons. You will know my reasons at the end of this video. Keep watching, guys. <laughs> so guys, Jennifer tells us while talking, you know, before him coming, they used to talk about sex. It is something she can't lie to you or hide. Yes, they could talk about sex a lot. So while talking, he asked her, when he comes, if she will share the goodies <laughs> with him. But she was like, no, <laughs> I would prefer me to sleep in a different room. And he said, it's fine, no problem. I'm going to give you all the time that you need. Whenever you feel comfortable, you feel ready to share the goodies, you can share. I won't force you at all. So yes, <laughs> they had two different rooms, but arriving at the Airbnb, you know, settling in, kissing, touching each other, <laughs> eventually did not go to sleep in her room, <laughs> slept in the same bed with him, but cause was nervous, it's the first time, and him too was very, very tired, never enjoyed the goodies that night. Another thing that she tells us had some flu and it started even before he came. So when he came, he also brought a nasal drops to help her with the flu. Yeah. So they slept and in the morning, <laughs> the guy brought breakfast to her in bed. Wow. She was really impressed. Very, very impressed. So happy. And is like, this is the kind of life I always wanted. Thank you, God, for bringing this man into my life. 
And before I forget, guys, among of the gifts, a very important gift that this guy brought to Jennifer was a Bible. I don't know if you guys remember one of my clips showing you the Bible that this lady received a gift from the boyfriend and everyone was happy for her. That's the lady. Today is their love story. <laughs> so guys, after breakfast, lunchtime comes. And when lunchtime came, Louis takes her to this fancy restaurant, a restaurant that Jennifer could have never set her foot in. <laughs> yeah, because tells us he used to get scared of such kind of restaurants. Be like, what if I go there, eat, and when it comes to pay the bill, I don't have the money, <laughs> enough money to pay. And they make me wash the dishes. <laughs> But Louis took her there, they really ate a lot, very expensive food, and he paid everything. Yeah, was really, really happy. Then took him around. At the end of the day, they returned to the hotel. And that night, guys, that is when the goodies <laughs> were shared, enjoyed. Everything went super, super good. <laughs> so here, Jennifer was like, the whole plan of sleeping in a different room, it wasn't possible, my friend. <laughs> the devil is a liar. And it's due to how we kissed, how we could touch each other, you know, the connection. Yes, I connected to him while chatting, but meeting physically Oh my God, <laughs> we clicked. There was no way I wasn't going to share the goodies. So it went the way it went, guys. <laughs> so dear friends, Jennifer tells us it was the best moment of her life. So the next day, again, they go to another fancy restaurant and every time they could eat, at the end of the time, he has to pay the bill. He could include the tips, like he could leave 1000 300 Kenyan shillings, you know, as the tip. Yeah, so that one impressed her too. Like, wow, my man is really, really generous. So yeah, Louis stayed in Kenya for one week and some days. And three days before he returns to Germany, that is when they arranged the trip to go to her village to meet her relatives. Everyone was very excited waiting for them. And also tells us before he came, he had transferred 3,000 plus euros to her account. So when they were preparing to go to the village, they talked. He wanted to know her culture, traditions, how they do things if he has to go to meet with her family. Jennifer told him and he was like, so should I buy groceries and some things or what can I do? Then Jennifer was like, even if it is in form of money, it's totally fine. So eventually picked her idea. They went, bought envelopes and Jennifer had a list of everyone that is going to be present, you know, at that party. So they had to put money in those envelopes and tells us her mom's envelope had really a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. So they prepare, then start their trip to the village. Oh my God, she was happy, excited, thanking God of everything that is happening. It was really the best, best moment for her. So arriving at her grandma's place as they're entering, you know, the entryway <laughs> to her grandma's house, finds her family members there singing for them, clapping. Oh my God, everyone was full of joy. <laughs> Even Louis was shocked. He was so, so happy of how they welcomed him. They had cooked lots, lots of food. I'll put some photos here so that you can see, you know, the food that they prepared Then got out of the car, you know, was welcomed super, super good. The grandma liked him. And when they finished eating, then everyone was given an envelope. Wow, 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 wow. 
everyone was impressed <laughs> by that so after everything to take him around the village was even surprised of how the roads were because tells us the roads were really really bad but he said it's okay then saw lots lots of cows he had never seen such a big number of cows <laughs> in his life so everything was new but really a good good experience and at the end of the day they had to go back to Nairobi and by the way guys every envelope was accompanied with a bar of chocolate <laughs> yeah because he brought lots lots of chocolates so they returned back to Nairobi and a few days after he had to travel back to Germany tells us that day that he was traveling you know going to the airport oh my god she was really really sad saying goodbye to him cried and cried and cried but told her don't worry we're going to see each other again she was worried that maybe he will go back and never write to her or disappear on her block her so a lot was going into her mind and our girl was in love yeah so she cried so so much but at the end of the day had to say goodbye to Louis. Eventually, Louis left and she also had to take an Uber, go back to the Airbnb because the next morning had a flight back to Kisumu, back home. Yes, so took an Uber and inside the Uber cried and cried and cried. To an extent, the Uber guy asked her, what happened to you? Did someone hurt you? She was like, no, no one hurt me. I'm just sad. My boyfriend just left. He was like, no, consoled her. Don't worry. You know, it is just a matter of time. You're going to see each other again. And yeah, eventually arrived at the Airbnb. And that's when the reality hit her so hard <laughs> that the boyfriend had really left. Cried, cried, cried. Night didn't sleep even good, but in the morning had to go and take her flight back home. Was very sad, even sent me the photo with a sad, sad face. <laughs> yeah. And that same, same time, Louis could send him the voice notes crying too. Very, very sad, you know, to leave her. That's the reality of a long distance relationship, guys. Yes. So she takes her flight, goes back home, and life continues. They keep on communicating, tells us the first few days were not easy. Sometimes they could both cry on the phone because they miss each other so much. But Louis kept on telling her, no worries, we're going to see each other again very soon. And like that... Could be at peace so friends i know this love story is very very interesting but long very very long so for today i'm going to end here but next time when i come i'll come with the last part yeah that will be so interesting you will have a lot to learn from the last part and because you have watched this you will understand better the last part that i will post very very soon so thank you so much guys for watching this video till now god bless you i really appreciate much guys i don't take you for granted if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good you're going to learn a lot comment below what you think about this video i would like to know until next time guys i love you so much you're always here here guys in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.